What's up guys, JQ with Tech Creation. So debuting is the Lock Smart by Dog and Bone Cases. So right off the back, the build quality is bananas. It feels like a heavy duty master lock with that stainless steel 8mm shackle and die cast alloy body. And at first glance, you probably wouldn't even question it amongst other locks. It could be a bit bulky, but it's also available in a smaller version called the Lock Smart Mini. In case you guys wanna check that out, the link will be in the description. You have a rubberized bumper on both the front and back that not only looks stylish, but it's for protection when lying on flat surfaces. You then have rubber seal on the bottom that makes this guy weather resistant and flipping it open reveals a micro USB charging port. And that's one of the biggest things with this lock is it's two year battery life thanks to Bluetooth flow energy. So on the off chance you run out of juice and you have to recharge, you simply just plug it up and you have another two years of battery life. That's seriously impressive. So before we have any fun, you need to go ahead and install and launch the LockSmart app that's available for Android and iOS, and then you have to create an account. Now, once that's done, you might be wondering how to turn this thing on. Well, there's a tiny button next to the micro USB charging port that can be pressed while the flap is closed to wake it up. And at this point, it'll be in pairing mode. And first things first, you wanna make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone. And then after your account is all set up, you'll then have to add a new lock. The app will then search for the new padlock and it picks it up in a heartbeat. It's a really quick process. Now once it's picked up, it's saved automatically and you'll then see the amount of battery that's remaining, which I really like, along with a prompt to tap to unlock. And once you tap it, you'll see this cool animation and just like that, your padlock is unlocked. Now by default, Power Saver is enabled in the settings, putting the lock to sleep every 20 seconds. Now if you do have this enabled, you'd have to approach the lock first wake it up and then unlock it and if you keep it off the green light will continuously blink this way you can unlock it at any given moment from a distance and don't worry too much about the battery that green led hardly consumes any power now for anyone who might be curious this uses 128 bit encryption which is currently the highest standard in bluetooth security furthermore no one can just come up install the app pair it to Bluetooth and unlock the padlock. That's not the way this works. Now this does have multi-user though, so if you do wanna give a friend access to the lock, in the settings you'd have to invite a new user. This user needs to have a LockSmart account and then you just punch in their name and number and they'll immediately have the ability to unlock it when in close proximity. And for monitoring purposes, you can view who and when someone accessed your lock right from the activity log. Now hands down, one of my favorite features I like about this lock is that if you feel that tapping is a little too easy to access the lock from the app, you can also use your fingerprint if your phone has a fingerprint reader or your very own passcode for authentication. It really helps add that extra sense of security and I currently have it linked with my fingerprint. And let me just say this thing looks magical every time I do it. I enjoyed the look on people's faces when I unlock this in front of them for the first time. Now the idea behind the LockSmart padlock is to remove the stress that's associated with losing your keys or having to fiddle around with combinations and just use your smartphone instead. I mean, the majority of society is glued to their smartphones anyway, so it's almost one of those things like, why the heck not? It makes a lot of sense. Now, I know what some of you may be asking, what if in the unfortunate event your phone does get lost or stolen? Well, what you'll have to do is you have to log into the LockSmart app from a new device, and what that'll do is it'll lock out your old device from having access to the lock, so even if you found it again, you wouldn't be able to access that lock. On the new device, you have to delete the lock and then add the lock all over again. And that's how that'll work. Now, while this isn't ideal for everyone, I do think it's great for anyone who has recreational activities and is into connected gadgets or just likes simplicity or all of the above. I really just love when technology comes together, it's built well and works great. Now, if I did have to nitpick, I would say it would have been nice to see more color options available for this bumper. And also this die cast build leaves behind a lot of oil smudges and fingerprints. Nothing major really, but that's really the only thing I could find wrong with this product. I hope this video was informative. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what are your thoughts about the LockSmart padlock from Dog and Bone Cases. Do you think it's a gimmick or not? I'm eager to know your thoughts. As always, I'll leave all the necessary info down below in the description in case any of you guys want to pick one up for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and show some love to that like button as it helps out the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for some awesome tech videos every week. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.